In the studio, Alexis Rosenberg from Rosenberg Law right here in Sarasota. Thanks for being with us Thank today. You. Thank you for I, having me. I think me. I saw you on set uh, earlier this week. Yes, you yes, did. Yes, all right. <laughs> you know, this trial, some are saying, is so, so crazy. Um, it's like almost like a blockbuster movie, <laughs> and, and we're only in week four. What are your thoughts so far about this? Well, uh, you, you are correct. I mean, we have two dramatic actors on the stand, basically, which is their own little stage right. with tons of people watching. So I think it's become abundantly clear the two of them should not be together, and they were definitely in a toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's going to really be a matter of what and who the jury believe. W I you mean, mean which actor right. has the greater act, <laughs> correct, right? Correct, correct. Right. So, I, I mean, I think from his career, Johnny Depp is the better actor, but you know, that's a matter of opinion. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they're on the stage, they're putting on the performance of their life. I mean, we have hundreds of millions of dollars at at stake and right now Depp has come across public opinion as saying that you know they're believing him he's authentic he is has really you know been honest about his dependency issues and it's questionable about Amber so the, yeah, that's what I'm saying so the court of public opinion here Johnny Depp has been on the stand for a while now but mm -hmm. what are we in day two of Amber Heard so we really haven't heard from her um, You've been listening to it. What are your thoughts on what you've heard from Amber Heard so far? Well, I mean, my personal opinion right. is it's a little dramatic, and I mean, we have crying with no tears. Right. <laughs> uh, so, you know, she is an actress, which we have to keep in mind that that is her job. It, but, you know, we have all the other witnesses, and we have the other evidence. So mm -hmm. the question's going to be, which, you know, which side does that other stuff support? And right. who does the jury believe is more credible? And there's a lot of things, you know this, that when we come to court, we want to be, like my mother would say, we want to be dressed up and we want to be, you know, we want to make it known that we're there right. for, it because it's professional, right? <laughs> right. So, you know, body language, what you wear, I mean, those are very, very telling choices. What can we learn, I think, by watching um, Amber Heard's overall demeanor and body language, at least so far? Well, Paul, that's very interesting because the body language specialists have been saying that she really is showing signs of contempt, hmm. um, which isn't, doesn't coincide with a domestic violence victim. So it, they're, they're siding with the fact that she's putting on a performance. All right. So what could we, at, at the end of the day here, I should say at the end of the trial, um, in your opinion, what could Amber be looking to gain and what could Johnny Depp lose in all of this? I mean, that's a very mm -hmm. open-ended question, so <laughs> give us your opinion on that. So uh, Johnny Depp, it appears, really wants to fix his public image. Mm -hmm. Um, and Amber Heard, I think, wants money. Right. <laughs> I mean, she wants $100 million. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I, I think he obviously doesn't need the money as much as she does. He wants to fix that public image. So, okay, so week four. How long do we think, how long do we think this could go on? So next week they're not hearing anything. The judge has to hear other matters. She actually has other cases than mm -hmm. this one. So um, they are anticipating that closing arguments will be the fr will start the Friday before Memorial Day. I wonder how long it will take to for the jury to reach a verdict on this. Yes, Again, yeah. we don't want to speculate here, right? Correct. Um, mm -hmm. do, and here's a: Do we see this type of trial affecting either of their careers? That's been a big talker. Yes. How is this going to affect, especially Johnny Depp and mm -hmm. his career? Well, I mean, they are saying there's been testimony from an, uh, you know, entertainment lawyer. They're saying it's already hurt his career. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I don't think any more damage can be done. It can only improve. Okay. We're going to move along now to uh, another co another case that we've been following closely, and we know that the guilty verdict is, is came down today, and this is uh, dates back to 2012, an arrest warrant made in, uh, in 2014. Thomas Gross, as we've been reporting all day, is going to be serving life in prison after after a jury found him guilty of first-degree murder for killing his own mother. Again, mm -hmm. this was back in 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe he fled to Israel. That's where they caught up with him. They had the arrest warrant made back in 2014. Now in 2022, mm -hmm. if my math serves me correctly, and I am getting a little old in the tooth, long in the tooth, that's 10 years. Mm -hmm. Besides this whole extradition process, is that what really held everything up, or are there other sources, mm -hmm. other things that may have uh, contributed to the length of right. this? 
Well, uh, first, I think it's poetic justice mm. that he actually was convicted right before, you know, Mother's Day, considering he right. killed his mother. Uh, the first thing was there was two years before he was even indicted, which, you know, that dragged it. a long it, time. That's a very long time. Then he did flee to Israel with like $43,000 of his mother's money. And then we had to get the Justice Department involved mm -hmm. to ha have to get him back here um, from Israel. So he really didn't arrive back here until 2019. And then we had COVID, which delayed the actual trial. But it is a very long time, 10 years. That's what I was going to say. Does that surprise you? I mean, that he had been on, the, that he fled, he took off for Israel and that he was there for so long the extradition process and you talked about this Justice Department mm -hmm. uh, US courts can they do anything or is it the Justice Department really that says okay we're gonna take hold of this and we're gonna get this thing done bringing him back well you kind of need them involved right. because the reason is there's treaties to extradite people so to get that to happen uh, I mean they did arrest him and have him on house arrest for uh, I think since from 2017 to 2019 but mm -hmm. getting him back it's not an easy an easy thing. Right. So we saw a sense of relief uh, when the guilty verdict was was announced. Especially, we spoke with um, his his sister mm -hmm. um, at the uh, court today. Um, do you think that this sets any precedence for any other Florida for uh, the courts or any other cases as well? I mean, this is a very unusual case. The length of time, like you mentioned, with from the time that he murdered his mother to the indictment, and then we have him fleeing the country and then getting him back. There's unusual circumstances here. How about the fact that, and I find this interesting, you may as well, it only took an hour for the jury mm -hmm. to deliberate. So to an expert such as yourself, what does that say, one hour of deliberating? So attorneys do have a theory, yeah, they I, believe, I, I, yes, yes. <laughs> that if it comes back quick, there's more likelihood, it's not foolproof, that they'll get a conviction. Because they think if they're deliberating, they're trying to figure if they're going to acquit. So it is a theory, but that is a belief. I mean, the forensic evidence was pretty strong, and you know, his his explanations at the time were contradicting most of that forensic evidence. Yeah can't have that contradiction in place. Right. Alexis Rosenberg from Rosenberg Law right here in the Sun Coast in Sarasota. Again, we thank you for thank your you for legalese opinion here today. Thank you so All right. much. Have a good weekend and happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we are going to